Hey everyone, welcome to Design Lessons. Today we're diving into how to use the character tool in design, build your very own custom character, and then use that character to create some amazing diverse images. Let's get started. First, we need to build your character. Click on Character and open Build Your Character. Here, you can either design your model using text or use an existing image to build a character. Let's start with Description. Click on Start with Description to enter the Character Description panel. Here, we'll design and build your character. First, name your character and then describe the appearance and outfit you want. Here are some description tips you should keep in mind. The more detailed your description, the more accurate your character will be to what you're imagining. Just make sure that your description only focuses on the character itself, things like looks, hairstyle, and clothing. You don't need to describe the environment. After that, choose the character's style. You can click on View All Styles to browse through different options and pick the style you like. Then click Generate Character Preview and you'll get two preview designs of your character. To get a closer look, click the magnifying glass in the bottom right of the image. If you're not happy with the design, click Regenerate to create a new one, or click Back to go back and adjust the description. Once you're happy with the design, select it and click Start Training to begin building your character. You can then close the window and design will continue building in the background. You can always check the build progress in the left toolbar. Once the build is complete, just click on your newly created model and design will automatically take you to the generate images with consistent character feature. Here, you can adjust your character's outfit, describe their actions and scene, and fine tune the image settings to create your very own character image. Then, you can check out the variety of images generated with your specific character. Next, let's check out how to use Start With Images to build a character. Enter your character's name, then click here to upload your local images. You can upload 1 to 30 photos of the same person from different angles or with different expressions and actions. It's best to include full body and half body shots. Here are a few photo upload tips for you. Three to five photos will give you a basic, accurate character model. Of course, you can also create a character with just one photo. You can upload up to 30 images here. Just make sure all the photos are of the same person, and each image should be over 512 by 512 pixels. Also, uploading images with different shots and angles will give you better results. Once you've uploaded your photos, click Start Training and close the window to wait for the build to finish. If you want to view and manage the characters you've built, click Manage Your Character. Here, you can click the Edit icon to rename, delete images, or add more reference images. Click Save to retrain your character, or click the trash bin to delete the character. With these character features, you can use any of your created models for further creative work. Then, in Generate Images, you can use the specific character you've created to generate any image you want. First, Generate Images to enter the Consistent Character panel. Click here to choose your character. Here, you can see all the characters you've built, and there are also some design-created characters that you can use right away. If you want to build a new character, just click on Build Your Character and design one from scratch. Now, just select the character you want to use and click to choose it. Next, let's use text descriptions to generate the image you want. In the Character Description text box, you'll see a description automatically generated by design based on your character. Now, here's the thing. You can either keep it as is or modify specific parts, but don't delete the entire text. If you don't change anything, the character will keep its original outfit when you generate the image. However, if you want to change the character's outfit, just highlight the part you want to change and type in the new details. And remember, don't delete the style description at the end. In this case, we're not modifying the character's outfit. 
In the Character Action and Scene text box, type in what you want your character to do and the scene they're in. You can use up to 1,800 characters here. And if you're not sure what to write, no worries. Design has some preset prompts you can use. Click here to explore more prompts and click on the action words to automatically add them to your description. Now, for the camera settings, you can choose the character direction and camera shot to control the framing and angle of the image. Of course, you can also use the auto mode for more creative freedom. Then, choose your aspect ratio. You can click here for more size options or even customize the image size. Next, select your generation mode and click generate to start creating your image. If you want to generate more diverse images with this character, all you have to do is update the text in the text box. In the character description box, just remove the character's original outfit and add a new one. Here's an example. The character originally has a black leather jacket. Delete the black leather jacket that you don't want to appear in the image and change it to a white long coat while leaving the rest of the description the same. Then, in the character action and scene box, describe what you want your character to do and the scene they're in. Once you're done, click Generate to create the image, and you can check out your creation on the right side of the screen. If you want to use a different character to generate images, simply click the trash bin icon and choose a new character. And if you're using a realistic style character, you can follow the same steps to easily generate realistic images with different variations. Now that you've learned how to use consistent character in design, go ahead and try creating your own images. Don't forget to click the design icon to follow our channel so you never miss a video. See you next time!